Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. I will, you all are blessed. Today is Moon Day Monday. Um, I wanted to do a reading for you all just to see what's coming and going out, going on. Tap in, tune into the energy. It has been a minute. Uh, I think my last upload was probably last Monday or Sunday or Saturday. Um, but as I said, I've been very, very busy as of late. Um, restocking new items for my Etsy shop. Uh, my mom and my Titi from Boston came to visit me. Um, she went to visit my mom and then they both, you know, drove up to come and check a sister. So that was really beautiful yesterday. Um, but it's been a, a really busy time for me. So I hope you all have been blessed. I haven't been able to really catch up as, um, as much as I like, you know, so I was like, you know what, let me do a reading because I do feel you guys are past due for a reading. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do a deep dive today. See what's coming and going out, going on for my beloved Scorpios. Um, I wanted to share with you all another video. Um, there was an owl for the past week. Last week, all of last week, I was awakened out of my rest to the sound of um, owls sound like it's more than one actually uh, they may have a nest um, somewhere in these trees by my um, my window but I had recorded this um, and I was just like wow so it's really really beautiful um, to have these amazing little animal totems just popping up I had a cardinal two of them flew towards me. I was leaving the, um, my house to go run some errands. And right as I got to my car, this beautiful, red, vibrant bird was flying directly towards me. I was just like, oh my God, that's a cardinal. And then another one. So it was two males um, and they seemed to have been fighting. So they may have been fighting for the female. Um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of little things happen. And I was seeing the number 777 last week a lot. Um, I was also seeing 888 and 666. Um, and a lot of people associate 666 with the devil. That is so not true. It's six protons, six neutrons, six electrons. That's what you are made of. That's what, you know, so that's in your DNA. Six is a very powerful number. Um, and it's a, a number of harmony, synergy, connection. Uh, the lovers is the number six in traditional tarot. So it's really about, you know, the, the balance between the masculine and femininity. Um, but let's play the video for you. It's very beautiful uh, to hear these owls hooting. Two owls. So. My alarm just rang one time. That's crazy. It didn't even play in this video. I played the wrong video. Oh, it's this one. Sorry, y'all. You hear that? Okay, so you heard that, right? All right, my alarm is going off. Give me one moment. Let me make sure everything is okay. So, my alarm just did something very funny. I'm burning the Palo Santo, as you can see, and it's kind of fizzing out. Um, but my alarm rang one time. And the, see? And it did it again. It's just ringing one time. Usually it'll be like, dee, dee, dee. So, that's very interesting. So, maybe some of you all, there's 
going to be something that you need to pay close attention to. Something really, um, something may be coming towards you and you have to use discernment. Use, you know, I'm, I'm hearing proceed with caution, perhaps. Um, don't rush to make a decision. Um, definitely use discernment. Use your intuition. Um, but I find it very interesting. Love you, Donnie. I find it very interesting that the alarm is only ringing a singular time. And it did that four times. So it did it when I was initially showing you the video and it happened to be the wrong video. And then when I found the right video, it did it. And then it did it again just now and then it did it again. So I just, I find that very, very interesting. So welcome to anyone that may be new. My name is Q. Um, if you are new here, uh, I hope you stay a while. If you are returning, you already know what it is. But love is love is love is love. Um, this is going to be a general reading. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. I know that you're more than just your sun sign. So check your moon, check your rising, check your Venus, check your Mercury, your Mars. Just check your other placements for a more clear and concise message for you. Um, my readings are also timeless, so whenever you find yourselves clicking on the video, that was the divine timing intended for you all to do so. Um, and let's see what else I want to say. So anybody that may be new, um, I too am a Scorpio. Um, my videos are general, like I said, but I do pick up on the messages um, telepathically, intuitively. I pick up on and channel messages. I am an empath and I am also clairaudient. So you will hear music in the background and those messages that come out in the songs blend very beautifully with what comes out with the tarot cards. Um, so right now what we have is Tony, 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 and this is called Whatever You Want. So I immediately heard the word somebody that's going to cater to you, be very charming, um, very charismatic, uh, someone that's going to be attentive, um, somebody that is going to care about how you feel and who's going to care even more about how they approach you. Um, they're willing to give you the world. They're willing to invest because this is someone that sees like long-term investment. This is the type of person that plans, prepares, strategize to come in. They don't just rush in like the Knight of Wands, Cups or Swords. So this is somebody that's really takes their time because they want to get it right. And when they do come in, they're going to give you the world. They're going to take care of you. Um, I'm getting like that earth energy, that king of pentacles, somebody that, you know, has that Midas touch, someone that could really support your dreams, really support you. Um, somebody that's really, um, you know, very attentive, as I said, very, very caring, very um, attentive, very nurturing and, and has those, you know, they have those innate uh, maternal and paternal qualities. Um, so this is that man's man. This is that that feminine, uh, that woman, you know, who knows how to to care and nurture and uh, take care of a family. And the same is applicable to that masculine who knows how to, you know, protect and provide uh, for his family. So this is uh, someone coming in very intentional um, with this song, Tony, 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 whatever you want. Um, I feel with those alarms, divine is telling you to keep your head on a swivel, um, to be aware, to be, you know, to be present, to be here now, um, to not be so much in your head or to not confuse things like be very, very present because the owl totems are, are very representative of transformation and, and things changing, um, you know, very, very drastically. Uh, it's positive changes, but it also represents, you know, the death of something. So something new emerges. So um, perhaps this is just a change of um, uh, a change of direction for some of you all. Uh, right now we have Allure featuring Nas, and this is called Head Over Heels. So I do feel you're going to be head over heels or someone may be head over heels in love with you. So this person could be coming towards you. Um, to give you whatever you want to court you the way that you deserve to be courted, whether you're feminine or masculine. Um, but there's something beautiful coming in. I feel this person finds you to be very alluring, uh, very beautiful. I'm hearing the word charming. Um, you're just a breath of fresh air. So we're going to tap and tune in. Uh, before we pick up the cards, let's do some house cleaning. I'd like to call upon the elements of water, fire, 
earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems. I just heard the, the owl just now. I literally just heard the owl. That is crazy. I just heard the owl and, and I did hear it 1 a.m. I'm sorry. Let me start all over ancestors. I apologize. I just heard that and that really tripped me out just now. Let me turn that music down. So let's go ahead. I want to call upon the elements again. Water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala. And Mama Oya Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibration of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So there's a lot happening um, even in the first 11 minutes of this video. And I just saw 11-11. So there is a twin flame that's coming in that's headed your way. 11:47 is 11-11. Um, but just so much going on. First, I played the wrong video. Then I've played the right video. The alarm went off. So many of y'all could be like really just like there's a lot going on. There's a lot of moving pieces and you're, you're tending to each and every one of them. Very busy time for you. This is the springtime. This is the new year to me uh, because this is when things are coming back alive. The flowers are blossoming again. There's pollen and there's bees and bugs and insects coming out of hibernation and animals. So uh, this is the time when everything comes back to life. So I feel like many of you all could be just at home really, you know, doing some spring cleaning. I'm hearing deep cleaning. Um, you're clean, clearing and cleansing your space. A lot of you are doing spiritual baths. A lot of you are doing some decluttering. Um, but I just feel this energy of just like busy, just very busy, tending to a lot of moving parts, even to your children, to your family. Maybe you're having visitors um, unexpected because I didn't even know, you know, like they told me the night before that they, you know, my mom and my auntie told me that they, they would come this weekend, but I didn't know um, if they would definitely come because I know they went to the concert to see Joe to see and New Edition and Charlie Wilson. And, and, and so I was just like, yeah, they're going to be partying. They probably won't show up. And it was Sunday and Sundays is usually like an iffy day. Like people don't really want to do too much on a Sunday, but lounge and um, they ended up coming. But I was prepared. But I'm just saying like many of you all, maybe you're having visitors, maybe, you know, things are just like really busy for you all at this time. And you're just really, you know, having to tend to a lot, do a lot. Um, so that's what I'm picking up intuitively. Right now we have Mary J. Blige. It's on featuring um, R. Kelly. So, yes, yeah, somebody's coming in and they are coming in with um with the intention to woo you, to serenade you. We got rebirth on the bottom of the um, numerology deck. So as I said, a very transformative time. Those owl totems are very indicative of that. 16 um, is, you know, seven in uh, traditional tarot. So, I mean, 16 is um, broken down to seven and seven is the crown chakra first and foremost. So a lot of, a lot of, a cerebral activity you know maybe you're having some lucid dreams maybe you're getting a lot of divine downloads maybe you're just you know needing to trust your your inner gumption that's part of the conversation my mother and my auntie um, and I was having yesterday was about you know messages from the divine and the many ways in which the divine will communicate with you and one of those messages um, was about trusting your intuition 
uh, my titi is very, very intuitive. Um, and she's been trusting her intuition. She mentioned times when she didn't and, you know, things didn't work out in her favor. So I do feel like that was a message. They also stopped off um, and, you know, my aunt, you know, she goes to church. Um, she likes to attend church. And so, you know, when they were in Greensboro, uh, which is where the concert was, um, you know, she just had a, a, a notion, a feeling, a gumption to just, you know, go to a church and go get some Sunday service. Um, and so they went and she said it was very interesting because the message that the pastor at that church. Now, they never been to the church. They just saw it when they was driving by and decided to stop and go in. Um, and that's never accidental. But the message that the pastor was delivering was about um, Judas and she and my mom said the last time or, or when my auntie, my other Thea, um, passed away in 2017, the pastor was speaking on Judas's, on the energy of Judas. Um, so that was a synchronized situation where they went to this pastor that they never or to this church that they never attended. And there was a message about Judas. And then when um, the, the Ella passed away the message message was about Judas so I told them that was a message for them to pay attention and be weary be mindful of potential Judas's around them but this rebirth um, card is here so as I said transformations changes startling metamorphosis things shifting in your conscious in your subconscious and in the world that you're in things are changing around you there's been a major major um, transformation and I feel like with it's on I feel there's some new love coming in you got physical activity so somebody is really going to come in remember we had uh, whatever you want playing by Tony 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 so somebody's going to be very very active this time around maybe in the past they were inactive they weren't as um, you know making as much of an effort uh, you know or maybe there wasn't as much effort put in to a situation but now there's going to be more um, intention um, and attention applied uh, moving forward so I do feel like it's on so things are going to be on and popping things are going somebody wants to share your world to it's because the name of this album is share my world so this person really wants to come in and they want to share your world there can be distance also um, the world is, you know, very much, um, that's the last card of the major arcana. 21 um, is the number of that card. So 21 reduces to three. So I do feel like you're the empress. You have uh, gone through some sort of ascension, Scorpios. Um, the empress, excuse me, is the number three. Um, that's the third card in traditional tarot. So I am feeling strongly that you have ascended, you know, you've reached the level of self-mastery. You are seen as that divine feminine. Somebody wants to come into your life and share your world. Um, now we got R. Kelly. This is called Get Up on a Room. So share your world and get up on a room. So this person may want to share a home with you. You know, I was picking up that King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is really someone who's, um, you know, very resourceful, very practical. Um, but they're, they're, they are... Um, all about family, you know, building a legacy, um, you know, that happy house, happy spouse vibes. So I have spiritual career here. This flew out. This is a bonus message, number 78. That's 15. That's six. So your first eye is very sharp. So many of you could be tower readers. You could be channelers. Uh, you could be scryers. Um, you could be psychic mediums. Um, you, you have some sort of ability or gift with your first eye. Very intuitive. Um, so I feel like you need to listen to that. And remember six, I was speaking on the number six when I was speaking of the number of synchronicities I've been bumping into all last week and 666 was one of them. So six, you know, um, like I said, with spiritual career, maybe you are a seer. Uh, so you could see, you know, into the future or you have like a very strong gift of premonition. You can tell when something's about to happen or you could just kind of read energy um, six is associated with the first eye um, and then we have change so you there's a change that is approaching um, 
And this number five is the Hierophant in traditional Tarot. Uh, so maybe there is a change in your marital status. If you're single, you won't be for much longer. Somebody wants to get up on a room. Uh, so this is really telling me that uh, this is somebody that wants to share house, share home with you. This is someone that is, um, you know, could be a little different from you in terms of like your, your spiritual beliefs. Um, maybe there's just... <clears throat> Maybe what someone is seeking wise counsel from an elder or someone is going to someone um, to get advice. And maybe this is changing their perspective about something. So, and so what this song is saying is one man can make one woman hate all men, all men. And, you know, switch that around if you're... Um, you know, a man dealing with a woman, one woman can make all women or all men hate all women. But th th I feel somebody is seeking some sort of change and they can be seeking, um, you know, some sort of advice, seeking wise counsel from a spiritualist, maybe going to a tarot reader, going to a psychic medium, you know, going to someone who has an ability to see. Uh, but somebody is changing something. And I feel like what they're changing is, um, you know, not communicating and expressing what they feel uh, because this is the number five and five, like I said, deals with the Hierophant. So the Hierophant is uh, very psychic as well, just as psychic as the High Priestess is, the Hierophant is just as psychic. So um, I feel this is also saying that you and someone else uh, could really be... Um, you know, like a spiritual partner, like this could be like a spiritual partner, a spiritual connection, which is why you may feel so strongly. Um, you could be picking up on this person's energy. And look at that. I didn't even see this intuition. Trust your intuition, because I was picking up on the fact that there's a lot of things happening and you have to trust your intuition and your inner gumption, you know, because there's a lot of moving pieces for this. That's the number of the um, emperor in traditional tarot. So this four is really giving me the energy of somebody coming in. And this is somebody that may have marriage on the brain. Um, you may have to work through some, you know, some, some little differences, but I feel this is a spiritual connection. Whenever I see double numbers, I always feel like you and this person are mirroring one another. And two is the number of the high priestess. And I mentioned that, but two, two, is your energy and this other person and the hierophant and the high priestess are both very intuitive picking up on one another's energy and picking up on those um telepathic messages as well two two is also the four it reduces to four four is associated with eleven eleven. so that i did see eleven forty seven earlier and i was saying you had a twin flame coming in we have another song um playing right now. This is by Luther Vandross, If This World Were Mine. And remember, I was picking up on uh, Share My World with Mary J. Blige's um, song, It's On, and the name of the album was Share My World. And the world card is the, is the 21st card in traditional tarot, which reduces to three, which is the divine feminine. Someone sees you as that divine feminine. They're in love with you. Pay attention because some of you all can be very closed off and guarded. Um, you could be healing, you know, from past situations, toxic relationships, completing kar karmic lessons, paying off karmic debts. And so you're re really in a place of recovery and rejuvenating your energy, your spirit. But I feel intuitively you can sense that something's coming in. This person that's coming in is willing to give you the world because they think the world of you. That is someone that knows that they're going to be, um, they have to be very proactive. They have to show you opposed to telling you. They're going to have to, you know, give the, the, um, the love, care, and tenderness that you deserve and desire. Um, this person definitely has a lot of love. They're attracted to you because I feel, Scorpios, you all have been focusing more on self-love, self-care, because you now know self-worth. 
So now you're more protective of your energy. You're more mindful of who you allow in. So your intuition is really, really sharp right now. Um, and I feel like you're trusting that inner gumption. You're trusting what you're feeling, the sensations. You're picking up on people's energy. Your spidey senses are going off the same way my alarm clock had been going off. Um, so pay attention to this and trust your intuition, okay? Always trust your intuition. I feel like you guys are so psychic and so sensitive right now that you could actually, you know, you can develop a career in that in that field, whatever it is that you're really sharp in. But I do feel you're picking up on the fact that your divine masculine or divine feminine is coming in because this four, like I said, that's the emperor. And we did see the, um, you know, the world reference is telling me that, you know, you've reached that level of self mastery. So feminines, you have evolved into that divine feminine masculines. You have evolved and ascended into um, that emperor energy all right so let's go ahead and get a couple more shuffles so those were just your um bonus messages i'm gonna shuffle them back on into the deck but it's beautiful the way those messages come out so if this world were mine so somebody really wants to come in and give you whatever you want they want to they, because they they feel you deserve it you know it's like maybe this is somebody that fumbled the ball dropped the ball feel like they missed an opportunity and maybe they feel like now they have another chance and this time around, they're going to really show you. They're going to really um, let you see exactly how how important you are to them. So, let's cut the deck. See what's coming in, going out, going on. And I'm hearing to cut it three ways. Baby bottom of the deck and you have intuition i just cut the deck three ways and this is your overall energy 22 trust your intuition you and your person are mirroring one another so this is absolutely like that 11 11 so happy house happy spouse both of you are intuitive this is someone that communicates with you intuitively and telepathically i feel this person loves you you know it and I feel a lot of the self-love, self-care that you've been showing yourself has really made you a magnet. You're now going to start attracting, you know, your tribe, attracting your soul tribe, your soul family, your divine masculine, your kindred spirit. You're going to start attracting that divine feminine, that person that is absolutely meant to build that happy house and happy, you know, that happy house, happy spouse environment. This is somebody that you're going to be able to build with grow with you're going to be able to you're going to feel supported but this is somebody that has the same vision of love you know they have the same vision of love and a, look at that self-love i can't make this up so your self-love makes you more attractive scorpios this is 61 that's seven so this person is rushing in towards you because they are magnetically drawn there's this yearning this pulling this calling of the souls that your souls are communicating with one another and yearning for one another honestly what's under that spiritual career so you know this you can feel this and sense this but this person is really drawn to you seven is the chariot in traditional tarot so this person is really feeling balanced now this is somebody very you know coming in very assertive and confident so maybe this person has been working on themselves as well because this says self-love so this person has also has learned to love themselves and you learn to love yourselves by being in relationships where the love is not reciprocated. Unfortunately, you know, maybe someone felt abandoned, not good enough, not valued. Maybe someone was cheated on, you know, but this is uh, someone had, that has also had to learn the value of self-love and, and setting boundaries and knowing your worth. This is the first stop, I mean, the crown chakra, a lot of divine downloads. Both of you are very psychic, you know, very intuitive. That's what I was telling you. The two, two, the double numbers always lets me know that there's a mirroring of the energy. And so someone is also uh, communicating with you telepathically. There's purple here in the symbol. So this person does communicate with you. I think they dream about you a lot. And it's so much that you're starting to pick up on it intuitively. And this is done, you know, intentionally. This person wants you to know they're thinking of you. Right now we have Jodeci, and this is called Come and Talk to Me. 
So this person is absolutely coming to talk to you, but it's communicating with you intuitively right now. You know, they're kind of trying to get the feel of the energy, trying to see where you're at. You know what I'm saying? But this person does want to eventually come and talk to you because we did see that change card and that is the throat chakra. So this person does want to change the non-communication to communicating with you. So Divine Spirit, who's the person Scorpio is attracting? Who is this person that Scorpio is attracting? Divine Spirit may have a message of love and light. Who is this person Scorpio is attracting? So I got two cards here. In the bottom of the deck, we got karmic completion. So didn't I tell you, you all, you've been completing karmic lessons? I feel you and your person have both been completing these lessons. You both have been trapped in karmic relationships. And it was very important for you all to not only complete the karmic lesson, but pay off that karmic debt and learn those karmic lessons. And one of those lessons was about self-love, self-worth, self-value, setting up boundaries, not being anybody's doormat, not being anybody's pushover, not letting anyone control you. You know what I'm saying? There was a lot of burden, stress, aggravation, deception. I was picking up on the messages that my mother was sharing about Judas's. So a lot of y'all was dealing with Judas's, snakes, frenemies, enemies, people fronting, smiling and beguiling in your face, but behind your back, they was stabbing you in it. So we have a couple of messages. What did I say? This person that's coming and they love you. They have a lot of love. There goes that six. That's the lovers. And I mentioned that as well. So this is somebody that loves you. This is someone that absolutely sees you as their yang to their yin, yin to their yang, um, their spiritual partner. This is someone that feels a, this is a spiritual union. When you meet this person, I feel like the connection is going to be very profound. Like there's going to be a synergy, a chemistry is something that's not even you don't even need to speak the words. And I feel like that being in those karmic relationships have taught you to trust your intuition, has taught you to trust what you're feeling. And love is something that you cannot hide. You can't deny like love is a feeling. It's a it's an emotion. A lot of people just use empty words in expressing this emotion, but it's not about the words. Remember, we saw physical activity. This person is going to be active now because we did see that that um, that 61, which was the, the I was breaking it down as the chariot. So now they're going to be active. They're going to come in assertively, confidently because they've worked on themselves as well. And they see you as someone that's like their kindred spirit, 32, 32, 5, 5. So this person had to really end a situation. You know, there was a lot of conflict, a lot of competition, a lot of competitive energy. You know what I'm saying? So they had to break free from that. And now they want to come towards you and communicate and express to you or explain to you what's been going on with them. But there's communication coming in. I feel like they're severing the tie to some sort of karmic cord. They're cutting that karmic cord, cord, cutting themselves free from something that's been keeping them stuck, stagnant, you know, ridding themselves of those attachments, those faulty belief systems. And then we have self-discipline. So this person has been learning. They've been learning to establish these boundaries. I saw five, five, and then this 41 is five. So this is about them, you know, really having to be in a position of power and not allowing themselves to be controlled or manipulated because five could also it's it's conflict you know it's competitive energy we got three 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 so that's six six and that's twelve that's three so this person absolutely is very attracted to you because they see you as the divine feminine this is somebody that sees you as the yang to their yin somebody that really knows that they had to you know, control them themselves. You know, this is somebody having that startling metamorphosis, this epiphany, because they want to come and talk to you. We still have Jodeci singing, come and talk to me. It's like this person, you know, is, is, is because I feel pride, ego, some of those things, they had to go through like an ego death, you know, we, we have the karmic completion. So the ego, you know, the ego death is necessary for people who who really hide behind insecurities and they'll just let their ego um, and their pride, you know, put them in certain situations, you know. But this person has had to learn discipline. 
you know, they've had that epiphany. They've been working on themselves. You know, that 41, that five, five is the, um, is the Hierophant in traditional tarot. And these are all the cards that came out for your person. Um, but these, I'm going to take these for you because they're face down. So these are going to be your messages. Your person has two messages. You have two messages. But that, that Hierophant, they could be seeking wise counsel, you know, and they could be going to maybe even the elders or they could be just, you know, learning more about spirituality, um, trusting what they're feeling, you know, but there's some form of enlightenment. And this is making them want to come and talk to you, want to clear the air, express their truth, express their feelings. Um, we got Chico to, Par Chico to Barge featuring Brian McKnight, and this is called When Can I See You Again? So, yeah, this was somebody you haven't seen in a while. So you know who this is. This is someone you have not seen in a while. Um, like I said, there's no communication. This person really wants to talk to you. They really want to get clear the air with you because I do feel like the last time you all spoke, maybe there was a, a disagreement, an argument. So we have new beginnings. So this is how they feel about you. You're that new beginning. You're that breath of fresh air. You're that person that they have a lot of passion for. I hear fire and desire. So their feelings for you are intensifying. And this is a red card. This deals with the root chakra. Scorpio rules the root, the root chakra. That's, you know, that's the reproductive area. That's about death, rebirth. So this is like, you know, you, you've been really uh, standing perpendicular in your square, standing erect, you know, following your dreams, your hopes, your desires, moving to the beat of your own drum. Thirty six, thirty six. That's nine, nine, nine. So nine, nine still makes nine because 18 makes nine. So you've been going through major changes. You know, that's the highest number of change. And I feel like that's where why you're at this brand new beginning. You're at a precipice of something brand new. And they feel that you're there. They're this, you know, they could have this new start with you. They want to see you. They want to come towards you. And they will because their love for you is what's leading them towards you. This love that they haven't communicated. See that parenting. And this is six, three, nine. So this can be for some of you all like the mother or father to your child. Maybe somebody can see you as the mother or the father to their child. Somebody really has a lot of love. Um, this is somebody who could see building a family. You know, they could see building that nucleus, planting seeds and roots. You know, they could see you, you know, as the, the, the Trinity, literally man, woman and child. You know, but this is someone who absolutely, um, for some of you all, uh, maybe there's been, you know, because how they feel about you is that maybe you're a great mother, a great father. You know, you've been very, um, you've been on it when it comes to your children. Like you don't play when it comes to your children. Um, you're very, very um, much, uh, you know, a stickler. You know, when it comes to your baby, you prioritize your children over anything else. You know, you're a great parent. You know, like I said, some of you all, you just have that innate ability uh, to to be nurturers, to be maternal and paternal. And this is how somebody sees you. Parenting, maybe parenting was something that hindered this connection also, possibly. All right, so what is hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? May I have a message, please? What is hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? We have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. Spirituality can't make this up. Very spiritual. And what's hidden is self-love. So this person that's learning to love themselves is who's hidden. He's hiding. She's hiding. They've been learning how to love themselves. That's why they have self-discipline here. Because they've, they're learning to set healthy boundaries. They're learning how to do that. They're learning to love themselves. They're coming towards you also. What's hidden is that they're going to come towards you very assertively, confidently, passionately, and powerfully. Because they want to see you. And they're not going to wait for you to come see them. They're going to come see you. With spirituality, there goes those double numbers. Didn't I say you and this person are psychic? Whenever I see double numbers, I feel you and your person are mirroring one another. And this is what they're telling you. This is what's hidden. And this is another seven. 
So they're getting all the divine downloads, interventions from spirit, their higher self, telling them to go towards what you want. Take that leap of faith. Take action. And so they're taking heed to those words. They're being obedient. Because like I said, that's the chariot. They feel very balanced. They feel very grounded. Whatever confusion that they were sorting through with the self-discipline, it's like they've figured it out. And we have Mariah Carey. This is called Thank God I Found You. Make It Last Remix featuring Nas and Joe. So this is somebody that feels so like elated. They know that you are one of a kind. This person feels this connection is really like it's it's spiritual. It's 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 beyond a physical a uh, connection or attraction. This is something that's spiritual. So they feel like you're their kindred spirit, their twin flame, their soulmate. They feel there's something deeper. This is an all purple card. And I feel like you know it too. And with thank God I found you, it's like maybe the two of you have lost contact. And this is why they're sending out. It's like, you know, when you watch like the comics, the comics, um, Batman will have like a signal and, you know, that's that bat signal lets you know that there's like, you know, something, you know, is happening. Like there's some sort of emergency. And remember, my alarm was going off and it was just going off once. So I felt like the divine was trying to get your attention, telling you to pay attention um, to your intuition. And then the intuition card was the first card that came out. So trust your intuition because somebody is communicating with you. And they're doing so by means of sending you telepathic or intuitive messages. They could also be dreaming, you know, like there's just a lot of activity with it. You're on someone's mind constantly. And so you may be picking up on it because you are very sensitive when it comes to energy, very psychic. And we did see spiritual career. So you could be so sensitive that you can create or you could have a career in your um, with your gifts, utilizing those gifts, honing those skills, gifts, and talents. This person is coming in. So this is the 777. Some of you all were born on your soul returns. Could have been um, November 2nd, November 4th, November 6th, November 5th, November uh, 1st, um, November 9th, November 7th. Okay. November 16th. OK, and November um, 14th. So. This is where you and your person are very spiritual. There's like a spiritual con um, soul tie here. Like this is like could even be like past life connection. You know, that's what I'm picking up is like this is like a past life love connection. And with thank God I found you, you all. This has been almost like, you know, you've been searching for this person. They've been searching for you and with make it last forever. I feel like this is going to lead to like long term commitment because that change card that was number five, five is the hierophant that could also allude to the fact that there's marriage in your future and whatever little differences that may have um, come in between this union or caused a separation um, or caused someone to fight the connection, um, you know, because this could be conflict fighting themselves. Um, or even walking away thinking they won the battle, but then they're, you know, riddled with regret and remorse, desiring you again, um, seeing you as that new beginning, as someone very passionate. It's like their feelings have intensified for you so much that they are rushing back in or rushing towards you with, thank God I found you. I feel like this is somebody that you may have, you know, um, that instant chemistry and synergy with, or maybe this is somebody that you already know and you lost contact with this person and then they they find you and you all get to um, have that much needed conversation because we do see that that person wants to come and talk to you. So let's go ahead and see what is the um, outcome for my beloved Scorpios. Wow. Oh, wow. That's powerful. And we got environment. So this person with this four, four, another double number. This is somebody you are familiar with. You know, this person. We got ten. Karmic completion came out. So somebody completed a karmic lesson. This is why there's been this this delay in the connection, because I feel Scorpios, you all, we already know Scorpios have been completing karmic lessons, breaking yokes, generational curses, really been working on themselves. Um, but I feel like somebody that you're dealing with 
is also wrapping up a karmic cycle. We did see this on the bottom of the deck when we were speaking about your person. And so this is some of the lessons they are learning. They're, you know, they're paying off a karmic debt and they're cutting themselves free from a karmic lesson. We have um, Faith Evans. This is called falling in love. So this person is now going to be coming towards you once they sever the ties to that, that karmic. Um, and I feel like the two of you are going to fall in love because every ending denotes a brand new beginning. We have here 4-4. Four, four. So this is that 4-4. Four, four. Remember I was saying the 4s are all about the heart chakra. Double numbers is telling me that you both have love for one another. This is an all green card. I'm also feeling you've met this person before in your environment. They were in your environment. So whether you met this person at your place of employment or maybe you met this person um, in your neighborhood, uh, in, you know, a city or state or town you used to live in, I feel like there's an opportunity for the two of you to come back into union and you're going to fall in love with one another because you're matching each other's energy. And I feel it's going to be easy for you to fall in love with one another because you both have learned to love yourselves first. Um, that's why we have the self love. This is what's hidden in the energy. Someone learning to love themselves, someone learning self-discipline. This is their energy. So they're learning how to emote. They're learning love language. And I feel like with this environment, this is saying that this connection can grow. This can, you know, really, you could cultivate this relationship into a divine counterpart, you know, someone that you can grow with and build with and ultimately fall in love with. Look at that happy ending on the bottom. I mean, right underneath that. So this person, this is somebody that's going to be within your environment. So I don't know if, like I said, you may have met this person um, at your place of employment or in an old neighborhood, uh, but I feel there's a happy ending uh, when the two of you come into contact. There's going to be a happy ending here. So that's beautiful. So this person is going to fall in love with you, 4646. Six. So both of you are mirroring one another in terms of ending those karmic lessons, ending karmic cycles, and also severing the time. Look at this. We got hand fasting, union. And look at these two people here. They're jumping up for joy. And she's wearing a wedding ring. Didn't I say that this could lead to marriage? Because that hierophant speaks to marriage as well. You know, somebody could be seeking wise counsel. Maybe that's speaking to you and this person going to a marriage counselor before you jump the broom. But this to me is like jumping the broom. You know, there's a broom here laying on the ground. So they're jumping that broom. And they're making a commitment. This is a commitment. And you're going to fall in love with this person. This is absolutely beautiful. Whoever this is, they're coming in with intention. They love you. They've made it. They're going to communicate this love to you, you know, verbally. But they are sending the messages to you telepathically, you know, because that six is the, the first eye. And you know this. 47, 47. That's 11, 11. This is your twin flame, Scorpios. This is somebody you've been waiting for. I feel somebody you've been manifesting, somebody you've been, you know, praying for, calling in. And that's why you have this passionate new beginning, passionate new start. And I feel like you, you some of you all, you may get pregnant really quickly. So, you know, if you don't want to be, get pregnant and get knocked up, you know, definitely use protection. But I feel like this person is coming in with the intention to, to plant seeds in your womb, like to make you their wife. Like they, I'm hearing they don't want to let you get away, you know, so that could almost be like entrapment. Like they could come in and intentionally try to get you pregnant because they don't want to let you, they don't want to lose you again. Because remember we had, um, uh, man, um, dang, what was the name of that song? Something about, dang, what was it again? Thank God I found you. That's what it was. Thank God I found you. So hand fasting, you all may get a ring. She's wearing a ring, ladies. So this person may be coming in. This is this is happening. Look at this. There goes that. Look at this. The staff. You've manifested this. I was saying y'all were manifesting this. And I do feel that because the staff is a powerful manifesting instrument. So you're manifesting this. You're manifesting this stability in your life. This is someone that also seeks that. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful union, beautiful connection. Let me see what we got here. And we got L O Cool J lounging. Look at this. I can't make this up. Fertility. This is a Beltane. 
So this is the divine feminine's energy, divine masculine's energy right here. You can see and you see that flame. So this is saying twin flame. I strongly feel you're meeting your soulmate, your twin flame, your spiritual union, your divine counterpart. This is that cosmic companion that I've been picking up on that word cosmic companion. So this is who this is. This person has a lot of passion, ladies. They want to give it to you long. This is like, who do you love? This is what they, they love you. They love you and they are attracted to you sexually. They are attracted to you mentally. They find you to be alluring. Remember, we had alluring. They're going to, you know, you, they're head over heels in love with you. And I feel like, you know, whatever was blocking this connection is removed. This is all happening. This is happening in divine timing. And maybe somebody had to make a decision, make a choice, because what they're saying in the song is, who do you love? Are you for sure? So maybe there was a choice, a decision that this person had to make before they could come towards you. See this? This person dreams about you. They dream of, you know, the house, the white picket fence. This is somebody that's up in their head about this. And they were trying to decide which direction they want to go. You can see the compass here, north, west, east, south. So it's like they're trying to figure out what direction. And I feel like they're coming towards you. They're headed towards you. You know, maybe they was confused dealing with a karmic, you know, but now they're rushing in because they've made the decision. They've made their decision. And this, this is by Ella Kuj featuring to Total. And total, I'm hearing the finale, so it's like it's the finale. It's final. They're done. It's to they're totally done with the past. They've totally severed the tie from their past, and they're leaving. And I'm hearing the song, I'm leaving on the next plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. So that's something that they could be telling their person. So divine spirit of love and light. Let's see what's coming and going out, going on. I'm going to clarify these messages. Let me get one more shuffle. Yeah, they're up in their head, but they're definitely ready and prepared to communicate with you. I feel that whoever this is that's been like holding back from expressing themselves, they're ready now. You know, it's almost like they're like rehearsing. You know, I get a sense that they're rehearsing what they're going to say, how they're going to say it. Um, and then they're, you know, anticipating what you're going to say. They're going to have a rebuttal for that. It's just like there's a rehearsing. You know, um, so I'm strongly feeling like, you know, this person or you're familiar with this person. So look at this protection is here and it says magic circle. So I feel strongly <clears throat> you're protected. You know, even if somebody's trying to send like psychic attacks, spiritual attacks, you you're creating a circle of protection. You're within the circle of protection. You know, maybe some of you all are waking up during witching hours or some of the of you all feel like there's some sort of. Um, you know, residual energy or something attaching itself to you. Um, definitely create a circle of protection. Definitely utilize your anointing oils. Definitely take your spiritual bath. Definitely, you know, say your, your, your scripture, Psalm 91, Psalm 23. Those are very protective um, psalms or protective um, scriptures. But trust your intuition. I feel you're very protected anyway. Your, your intuition is going to save you from something. You know what I'm saying? But trust your intuition. If you feel like you need to be guarded, then be guarded. You know what I'm saying? Because I do feel like there could be somebody trying. You know, maybe this is somebody that's attached. You know, the person that's, that's coming towards you could have some sort of attachment you know, and it's like they're watching every little thing this person does and they know that this person wants to come towards you. So maybe this 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 uh, person you're attracting, their karmic could be trying to, you know, send some negative energy your, your way or to both of you or trying to block this. But the divine is saying this connection, this union is spiritually protected. Also, I'm getting that as well. This is a spiritually protected union, and it's because both of you are intuition, intuitive and you're listening to your intuition. We got spirit here or secret, excuse me, book of shadows. So your person is also very, very, very psychic. I feel they could have had because um, I was picking up on the fact that they could be in the practice as well, because we do have that two two which shows. And then we also had spirituality seven seven that was also showing um 
that you both were mirroring one another and then we see this full four environment but what the reason why i feel like this person is also um in the practice is also into esoteric or occult um information or spirituality is because their energy um was the hierophant with the change and the hierophant is very it's just like the high priestess they they're very intuitive they have the, the book of shadows is your recipe book so they could also be you know concocting their own recipes spells rituals um they could have also had somebody who discovered a secret about them um and that could be why uh there's protection here uh, maybe they are you know trying to protect this union uh you know by not really exposing as much maybe somebody read their journal maybe they are journaling or they're manifesting um this love but this person is uh tr truly um in the practice i feel as well this is somebody that's very aware very uh, very familiar if you will my nose is itching like crazy so i'm on to it but um so we have um soul for real and this is called every little thing i do so this person right here is your soulmate this is your your spiritual connection this is a, a um excuse me a kindred spirit here um because we're about to clarify love and i just saw five 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 so we already know five 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 that's ten ten that's twenty that's two so this was somebody who was stuck in you know two minds you know what i'm saying they were confused between the karmic and you i feel like they may have discovered a secret about the karmic they may have discovered this karmic was doing love spells or doing some sort of um spell work on them because we do see here protection so this person started to protect themselves um you know I'm, i always get witches brew when i speak of the um, masculine that's coming into the feminine or the feminine that's going in for the mass. I feel somebody's been doing like, you know, like um, witch's brew on someone's food and someone stopped eating it. And this is what um, kind of given them some sort of awakening. They woke up. But this right here is saying with secret, somebody, re they, they've discovered a secret about something. So let's see, why is love here for the person Scorpio? is attracting oh man i can't take all of those it was like 45 billion cards see that that's crazy let's give it a bang bang boogie so why is love here for the person scorpio is attracting may have a message of love and light why is love here for the person scorpio is attracting why is love here for the person scorpio why is love here for this person scorpio is attracting to them see they, they're being hush about it because they I think they don't want their left to know what their right is doing. But this is their true intentions here. Hand fasting showed up again. Union. There's no doubt about it in this person's mind. This is a twin flame union. This is a spiritual connection. This is your kindred spirit, your cosmic companion. This is your person. There's no doubt about it. We got skin deep featuring little Kim. No more games. They're not coming in to play games. This is somebody that doesn't want to play any games with you anymore. We have autumn. So the autumn time. So this person is saying, you know, that whatever happened, because autumn is your season. So that's usually when the veil is thin. That's usually when, you know, that's the death energy. So they're going through some sort of transformative time. But I feel like they've fallen for you. They've fallen in love. You know, maybe during the autumn time is when this person will come towards you. You know, the divine is saying maybe during the autumn time. But this person has fallen in love because I see these leaves falling, you know, and I feel like this is the epiphany that this person has had. And they're not going to play any more games. They're going to come in. They're going to be a straight shooter. You know, I feel like they're going to really, you know, really tell you how it is or how they feel towards you. Um, next, we have stability. Yeah, this person is very attracted to you. They want this new beginning. This is what they want with you. They've learned from their mistakes. And this time around, they're going to be very assertive, very passionate. They're going to take that leap of faith. They're not going to play any games with you. And I feel like they see you as like your beauty is it's skin deep. It's not just physical, as I said. It's not just your, your physical attraction. They are attracted to your mind. They're attracted to the fact that you're spiritual. I feel this person could have been a little intimidated or confused about their feelings, about what they wanted. But they've worked on themselves as well, and they gained some sort of epiphany. 
And what they realized was that their passions for you intensified. They didn't diminish. They didn't go away. And so this is what they want to hold on. They want to hold on to this. They want to, you know, extend an olive branch to you. They really, truly are um, very attracted to you. And this is what they feel. You know, they could see you as their twin flame, their soulmate, their divine feminine. Because they do feel that this connection um, is very passionate. They have a lot of pat. They don't get it twisted. They, they definitely want to be intimate. You know, they do think about you a lot intimately. Um, but I do feel like there's, you know, there could be a little distance, travel necessary. Why is New Beginning here for how this person feels about Scorpio? Why is New Beginning here for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpio? See that shadow? They feel you're mirroring them. It says um, scrying mirror. So they do feel like you are. Um, you know, like that, that twin, you know, you reflect, they, it's like mirror reflects. So it's like they, they, they've been hiding, you know, that they want this new beginning. They want this new start. They've been hiding, you know, how they feel about you is you also, you know, there's a lot of, of similarities, you know, they could see themselves in you and vice versa, because I do feel both of you all have gone through um, similar life lessons, you know, you've had to learn from those lessons. You've had to grow from those lessons. And now that you've both have discovered your love language, you now could come together. But this person really feels like you are, um, that the two of you mirror one another. They also know that you're very, very psychic, very powerful, and they do want this passionate new start. That's, I feel they also send messages to you, you know, they send messages to you telepathically and intuitively. Next, we have Wiccan um, read ethos. So, you know, with this, they definitely feel like you are uh, by the book. You know what I'm saying? You really do. Um, you stay within those the parameters of the law. You're very just. You're very righteous. You do things fairly and justly. And I feel like because you're such a great parent, maybe you are a single parent, maybe you went through a lot with the father or the mother of your children or child. It's like you definitely deserve, you know, um, you just deserve to have things, you know, balanced out in your life. You know, maybe they want to come in and help you co-parent those children. If this is the mother or father to your child, maybe they want to build you know, like that family, that nucleus, you know, maybe they want to work together. Um, but this is um, interesting. So let's see. So why is parenting here for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios? So we have hearth, homecoming. So this person feels you're like home. This is somebody that wants to return home as well. And we got intention. So this person is coming in. Didn't I say this person is coming in very intentionally, like whoever's coming in? And we got I'll be sure night and day. And he says, I could tell you how I feel about you night and day. And it's because this person dreams about you night and day. This person is absolutely trying to plan, you know, the re-entrance, re-emergence into your life. And this is that person with the self-love. They've learned to love themselves, but they're also sending you these messages so as not to be too much of a surprise. And because you're like this, this psychic medium, this, this hierophant or this high priestess, this sorceress, this channeler, it's like they're sending you these messages so that it won't be that much of a surprise. I feel you're also like you're the one manifesting this. You've manifested this. You know, you've manifested this person to return to you, to come to you. You are the master manifester. You are that alchemist. So you have the ability to manifest somebody's return. So we have um, security here. And this is clarifying self-love. So this says, um, which is cottage. So this is, um, see that? So with security, I'm feeling strongly that there is a guardedness, like you're guarded. You know, maybe you're a little guarded, you're a bl little blocked because self-love. I'm also getting like the seven of wands. So you could be a little closed off. You know, that's hidden in the energy. Someone feels you're very protected. You know, you're like very protective, very guarded. Um, and you could also be very defensive at this time. 
So somebody is like, you know, trying to figure out how to come towards you um, when you got all these defenses, you know, um, and we have containment. See that? So somebody that was with this this karmic, they were being they were being contained. So I feel like somebody was doing like a um, binding ritual on this person. And that's why this circle of protection came out, because I feel like this union is divinely protected. And I also feel like the divine is telling you to, you know, just say, you know, your prayer, include your divine person, your divine masculine or feminine in your prayers, you know, because they're dealing with a karmic that was doing something to keep them contained, stuck, stagnant and with them miserable with them. Um, this is somebody who I feel um, became aware, you know, became aware of what was going on. Uh, we have the death. So there is an ending. You know, the death is, you know, maybe there was a death in a family. Um, I send my, you know, my um, my regards to you. Um, if you did experience that, this also is your card, Scorpio. So the death represents your energy. Um, and I feel like you all have really been uh, transforming because we did see rebirth. And that's about transformation. That's about startling metamorphosis, growing pains. You've been growing and evolving. There's been a death of a relationship or the death of an old you, a death of a perspective. But now there's this emergence, this rebirthing, this reincarnation, um, this regeneration of the new you, the new version of you. So let's see. We're going to pull some messages from my deck. Bottom of the deck. OK, look at that. It said he, she is the one that got away, can't shake this feeling. And this is what I feel your person is going through because they're feeling this love, this love that they could have ignored, denied, or even it was, you know, a little bit of self-deception. Maybe they had competition. They had a bunch of people, you know, and self-discipline is about, you know, controlling oneself. You know, the ego can get out of whack. So maybe somebody was feeling very egotistical, you know, very conceited, very me, 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 I, I, I. And they had an ego death and they had to learn to um, control their urges, you know, control, um, you know, control their lusts. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and maybe that's what they had to work on. And now they're the new version of them. They're a little more. Ha they have more self-control, if you will. And the song that's playing right now is Joe to see good love. So someone that absolutely feels you give good love. I don't know. And I'm hearing Whitney Houston. You give good love to me. Yeah. So somebody feels you give good love. So maybe this is someone you was intimate with. And this is why they can't stop thinking about you. This staff is very felicious. So I'm getting a masculine who could be like, you know, self pleasure because this is how they feel about you. Also new beginning. And then with the mirror, this is like, you know, maybe this is what they've been hiding. They've been hiding these feelings, these emotions. But they do feel like you um, mirror them in a lot of ways as well. Mirror reflects. So they're reflecting on, you know, things pertaining this connection. We got success here. So you all are reaching, you know, a level of self, uh, you know, self-stability, you know, self-sufficiency, independence. I feel like many of you have, you know, a lot of. You know, your 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 finances have improved, you know, because you've really been grinding, working hard, um, just really probably putting in extra hours just to, you know, maintain that um, stability and that security um, we have because I'm happy. And it says you can't steal my joy. So I'm, I'm feeling like you all are really content right now, especially when it comes to your finances. OK, I see a card in the upright. This is a bonus message. So it says single black white female wants your life, jealous, envy, sneaky, hater. So there's no coincidence that Scorpios, you're going to have a lot of people that's going to try to duplicate your style. They hate what they can't duplicate. That's one of my sayings. People hate what they can't duplicate. So they may, you know, really see you as somebody that's a trendsetter. You may have revolutionized something. Maybe you're very skilled, gifted, creative, artistic. Um, you could be an artist, you could be a hip hop artist, a singer, 
Um, you could play instruments and you just know how to do, th you just like that renaissance man or woman. It's just like, you just pick up things really quickly. And there's people who are jealous. They get jealous of anything, but this is why I feel you have this protection here because it's very important for you to protect yourself, protect your energy. And, and, and when you start feeling things, you know, trust what you're feeling, trust your inner, inner gumption, always go with your first intuition, your first gut instinct, because I feel like that's going to always protect you. And keep you safe from people that could be doing any type of, you know, trying to send attacks to you. Because remember, you also had cloak and this is concealment or containment. So somebody could be trying to do things to keep you stuck, to keep you put. So just be mindful of that. But that could be somebody else. You know, um, like I said, if your person that's coming towards you has a crazy ex, which I feel they do, that karmic, um, they could be now, you know, turning their frustration um, towards you and you may not even know this so let's just be mindful but you are very happy i feel you're very content with the way things are going in your life i feel you've worked very hard to get to this place um mind your words there could be somebody speaking very ill of you you know trying to defame your character assassinate your character you know just saying things that are untrue and um there's a saying whoever gossips to you gossips about you so anybody that could be coming to you with the latest news and always wants to bump their gums about stuff, trust and believe they do the same about you. So be mindful of the information that you're sharing. We got sparkle playing. Be careful. So be careful of this, the, the, the circles that you're in. We got King's disease, um, King's Queen's disease. It says gluttony, power hungry. So. Somebody's very jealous of what you have. Um, this is somebody very greedy. This is somebody that would stop at nothing. And Sparkle is telling you, be careful. So be careful. This person is crazy and deranged. And they're also very, uh, you know, um, self-absorbed. So just be mindful of that. And there's so many cards because I combined like two decks. So it's very hard to shuffle. She's there with a sister. I just want to get you a good shuffle so that we could get some good messages. You will be the first millionaire. And I do feel that that message is, was coming out a lot. Um, last year it was coming out a lot. Um, and this could be why there's those crazy deranged folks jealous of your life, stalking your life. You know, they could be, you know, people you don't even communicate with, but they're on your channel if you have any type of social media platforms they're on there every day religiously that's why i was telling you all to just be mindful of what you're sharing what information you're divulging about your personal life about your goals your plans um what you're doing where you're living you know because everybody's not happy for you a lot of people know how to fake it you know a lot of people be smiling and beguiling pretending to be happy for you you know and um really they're not something is telling me to shuffle it or cut the deck three times, just like I did the um, numerology. So we have here Blue Heron. Oh, I love that. No wonder. And this is another card of protection. This is beautiful. It says Blue Heron, the most high is watching over you. Protection, prosperity, self-determination, self-resilience, inner peace, and stability, and psychic powers. So this is clarifying the intuition and the protection card. So you are protected. You know what I'm saying? Blue Heron is an animal totem that bumps in, I bump into all the time. One just flew over our head the other day. It's a really big bird with these cute little fragile legs, but they, they have strength. So the Most High is watching over you. So if there is anybody that could be trying to potentially do anything to harm you, the Most High is watching over you and you are protected. And with be careful, they better be careful who they playing with. Because they don't know how high in spirit, how high in rank you are in the spirit realm. And with Blue Heron coming out and the Most High is protecting you, that means that you are in a higher rank than these individuals are aware of. So they might want to just fall back. These jealous, hating ass people, they are projecting their insecurities um, and their lack of mentality and scarcity mindset onto others. And so when they see somebody successful and happy, seemingly happy and doing well for themselves, they now want to direct their anger and frustration towards the other person. If there is a karmic that is looking to you as, you know, the enemy, 
then that is, again, you know, a part of why they could be misdirecting that anger opposed to like doing that internal work. So what we have here is too much of anything could be bad for you. Moderation. So with this person here, you know, maybe this person, this is, this is someone that really needs to slow it down. You know, maybe they're doing too much of something and the divine is just letting them know that they need to take a pause, take a break, a wusa. Um, maybe they're working hard, you know, maybe they've been working really hard, really, really um, tediously because the six could also be like, you know, work relationships as well, partnerships, business partnerships. Um, but I feel like, you know, this person is needing to take a break. You know, they need to be careful also uh, because, you know, too much of anything. That's anything. It could, it could be a bad thing. So the divine is, you know, letting this person know that. So let's see. Why is um, autumn here and love here for the person that Scorpio is attracting? They have a message of love and light. Why is autumn? Thank you. And it says laws of attraction, manifesting your dreams and desires, hopes and desires, excuse me. So yeah, this person is, you know, maybe they're working on their spells. Maybe they're working on their intentional um, you know, uh, master manifesting, you know, on their spell work, but they're, tr they're, they're attracting what they want. You know, they're, they're really in a space where they're trusting their intuition and they are, you know, they know that the more work they do on themselves, then the more balanced they will be. They'll be in equilibrium. And we got um, Sunshine Anderson. This is called Heard It All Before. I feel when this person comes in, the divine is telling you to be um, just surrender because you may have very well heard it all before the games, you know, the game. But this isn't game. I feel like this person with laws of attraction manifesting, this person is manifesting you back into their life. And this is going to be shocking news. Thunder clap and prepare, take shelter is really just, you know, saying that some unexpected news is coming in and i really feel maybe they feel you've heard it all before maybe they feel like you're you know like i said they're a little intimidated but with self-discipline they're, they're learning to get out of their head and to just trust the process you know let's see why is um why is stability self-discipline here I feel this person is really working hard on their finances, which is why the divine said too much of anything. Maybe they're putting in a lot of overtime hours. You know, they could be working almost 100 hours a week. I heard the word, the number 100. And that is ridiculous if somebody's working that many hours in one week. You know, and it's, it's honestly is to get you out of their mind. It's almost like their escape from thinking about you. Because remember, what you think of, you create. And when somebody's constantly in your head, you know, it's like you, that's what you attract. That's why people tell you, that's why we had words of spells, spells bind, you know, also because what you speak, you also create, but it's also the same with what you say. We got four page letters. So this person could be really like penning you a letter. And this was this way. So this is truly like, it was this way when I looked at it. So this is really like a bonus message. So somebody is really like a secret admirer and they're penning you a letter and with heard it all before, maybe they feel that way about you. Like you've heard it all before you're cause you're that wise. Like you're very, um, I just get a sense that they feel you're mature. So you're, you're worldly, you're experienced. And with self-discipline, they have to trust their own confidence with pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. You know, they have to, um, this is like the signs. Remember I was saying that there's things, you know, maybe the divine is trying to get your attention you know, maybe somebody needs a woosa, needs to take a moment to just meditate. So why is stability and self-discipline here for the person Scorpio is attracting to them? So we got treat yourself. You deserve it. See that? So they was in a relationship where the, it lacked reciprocity. They didn't know their worth and value. And I feel like now they do. They have this new chance, this new opportunity, just like you. It's a new beginning that they are embarking on. And they realize, and this is the second time self-love has come out. See that? It says self-love is the best love. And then we got self-love here. 
for what's hidden in the energy. And this is your person because we got self-discipline. So they're learning now to treat themselves better. They're learning now to get out of their head and to just get a little more in that heart space. Maybe they were a little too logical. Maybe they was up in their head a lot. Right now, with heard it all before, maybe they, you know, really was a little cocky and thought they knew everything. But we have, where have you been all my life? This is where this person feels. They feel this for you. Where have you been? Something they've been hiding. How they feel about you is they've been hiding their feelings. Where have you been all my life? Share my world, Mary J. Blige. And then we had, thank God I find, found you. Make it last forever. So this person is really, like I said, when y'all bump into each other, when y'all really meet in the flesh, in the physical, in this reality, it's like the, the synergy, the chemistry is going to be unspoken. The two of you are being drawn to one another. You're mirroring one another because you both have these new beginnings. You know, you've had to learn to be independent. You could have both been in codependent relationships. We have past life, love vibes. Is this the one? I cannot make this up. This is how this person feels that this is a, a, a didn't I say that this, this was a twin flame. This is somebody that you may have possibly met in a former life. I said that because the connection, the chemistry, the way the two of you are operating and functioning. We already see there's mirroring. I was already saying that the two of you were mirroring one another with these double numbers that were coming out. And then we got past life vibes. So this person definitely is someone with whom they feel like they're returning home. This is a homecoming, you know? This, this is somebody had to go out there, see what was out there, and they're returning. And I feel more importantly, you've manifested this because you've learned to set your intention, but I feel your person's also a master manifester as well because we have laws of attraction manifesting your dreams, hope, and desire in your person's energy, the person you're attracting. So you're attracting that, what the intention you know, the intentions that you're setting is attracting your person and the intentions that they're setting is attracting you. So you're both is manifesting one another. And with parenting, they see you as, you know, a great mother, somebody that can, you know, raise the children, very nurturing, loving, caring, very empathic. This is a beautiful energy, very maternal, very paternal. So why is intention... Um, new beginning. Wait, what is that? Intention, homecoming, and parenting here for how this person feels about Scorpio. Thank you, spirit. It says ringing in the ears. It says right ear. Spirit is communicating with you. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides are... Um, Okay, spirit guide or someone you have a strong um, energetic connection to. So if you're, if you're, okay, so this is speaking to the ringing in the ears. So if your right ear is um, ringing, then that means spirit is communicating with you, an angel, an ancestor, spirit guide, or someone you have a strong energetic connection to. The left ear is a message of fear, um, a message from your higher self, excuse me. And it says shift in um, in your vibrational field. And then we got Adina Howard. It's all about you. So if you have those ringing in your ears, if it's the right ear, that spirit, or that's somebody you have a very strong energetic connection to in the left, that is a, um, a message from your higher self. And there's going to be a shift in your vibrational field or there is. So basically, in other words, trust all of these sensations, notions, gumptions that you may be picking up on. You know, I did a reading a, a couple of weeks ago saying your your ears are ringing because somebody's talking about you. And that that was absolutely the case. But it's all about you as saying that somebody's coming in and you're going to be their main goal, motivation. And, you know, like I said, they're going to be very attentive. You know, very attentive to you. So why is um, security, self-love here for what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. He loves me. He loves me not. It says games, mixed signals, praying on your downfall. See that? 
and that's that's um, clarifying the cloak and uh, concealment rather in karmic completion and then we have jealousy as a sickness hater alert stalker alert see that so somebody doesn't want someone to end a cycle obviously somebody that's coming toward you this is somebody that you may have felt um, you know, maybe you dealt with somebody who was a player in the past, in and out, flighty, you know, very um, impulsive type of energy, childish. And so maybe when this person does come in, that's why you are coming off very guarded, you know, blocked. And then I feel like the divine is telling you to surrender because this is somebody that absolutely is coming in with the intention to be down with you because we have Brandy featuring MC Light, Queen Latifah and um, and um, Yo-Yo. So what we have here is somebody's praying on your downfall, right? This is somebody that's been trying to conceal their true feelings. And this could be you or the person you're attracting. Somebody is concealing what their intentions are. This person here is attached to a karmic that has been doing some sort of spell work. And they are trying to block this person. They're jealous. They're envious. And we have this here. It says single black, white, female or male. Once your life, jealous, envious, sneaker and hater. The same messages are coming out. So you've got to be careful. Remember, we had Sparkle saying, be careful. Be careful of who you allow into your inner circle, into your life, into your home. Be careful who you're eating from. Be careful who you're divulging information to. Somebody may be pretending to be down with you, but they really have ulterior motives. So we're going to pull some messages. We're going to use, what do I want to use? I want to use the dark grimoire because this is some dark energy that's coming out. But they can't block what the divine is um, doing because as we saw here, Blue Heron, it says the most high is watching over you. And so what we have here, what is this? The star. So you are the star. And it's obvious that's why there's so much jealousy and envy coming out. And so there's a lot of jealousy. What's underneath that? Look at that. Didn't I say that my mother and my titi was talking about the Judas energy? And look at that. So this is somebody that wants to be down and they're going to lie. They're going to embellish. They're going to say things that sound real good. But their intentions are to, you know, kind of like because remember we had um, king's disease, queen's disease, greed. So somebody's coming in to kind of steal your shine. You are seen as a star. You're radiating love, light. You're co-creating with source. You're very bounded, uh, balanced, grounded and in alignment. Um, and I feel like there's a sense of you being you know, very strong, very, he you know, like a healer. You have a healing tendency about you. And this is what draws a lot of people to you. Um, and this is why you have to be guarded because you don't just want those energy vampires coming out. On the split, we have the five of pentacles. So this is you now seeing, or this could be somebody else, person you're attracting is seeing that there is this, this mob of people being controlled by this demonic entity, this demonic entity here. And they're seen, they're looking from the outside in now. Maybe this person was under the influence. Remember we had too much of anything isn't good for you when we was speaking of the person you're attracting. Maybe somebody was drinking heavily and this impaired their vision. This made them impulsive, made them do things that were irrational. Maybe somebody was smoking too much herb and it was flooding their vision, maybe making them paranoid. But this is now somebody seeing the truth. And I feel like the work, the healing that you've been doing on yourselves has really enlightened someone, awakened someone, triggered someone. And we got the King of Cups. So this King of Cups is watching. This is someone that's learning, you know, their love language, also learning that they do love you because we do have love here. So this person does realize they love you and they do want to be down. They see you as a star. They see you as rare. They see you as beautiful, illuminating, very compassionate, empathic, and also powerful. And we have the moon. So this person has been hiding their feelings. This is something they've been hiding, something they haven't been revealing. This is someone that dreams of you. This is someone that is also very intuitive. And this could be the reason why. 
like I said, the mirroring is here because the moon is very reflective, just like the water. So there's a lot that could be hidden. And we have here the uh, Knave of Wands. So if somebody wants to communicate, somebody wants to take action. Maybe somebody was being childish and immature in the past. They was being that player. I see the Knight of Swords. Somebody could have said some things they regret. They're replaying those things, rehashing those things. That could have caused a death because the autumn represents, you know, that's the season of death. All the flowers, all the trees, everything starts to turn. The leaves fall. That means, you know, that's an indication of death. But then there's also this opportunity for, you know, during the springtime for things to blossom again. And so I see here with the Six of Swords, someone is truly, you know, you, you made a decision to leave something behind, Scorpios. I feel like you moved away. Maybe you physically picked up and moved away from everything that was causing confusion in your life. I feel like you found a safe haven, a safe space. You, you know, created a very protective bubble. And um, I feel like somebody really wants to travel to see you because remember we had um, we had I want to see you again by uh, Chico de Barge and Joe. So soon as I said that, look what we got here, the chariot. And remember, I was saying the 61, the chariot, because that's the seven. That's the seventh card in traditional tarot. So this person is absolutely wanting to rush in and come toward you. They feel more balanced. This is your message right here. This union is protected. This is a very protected spiritual union. And I feel somebody has a crazy stalker ex, um, whether that's you or your person that's still spying and stalking someone's life and seeing that they're moving on. Uh, the divine is telling you and your person to trust your intuition when it comes to something and to stay protected, stay grounded. Because there are people, you know, dark forces trying to work against this union. But I see somebody rushing in. They're coming in because they're absolutely um, feeling this pull, this call, this urge. So there's some information rushing in. Someone's rushing in. And we have SWV and Michael Jackson. It says right here. So this person is rushing in. They're going to be right there with you. You know, this person really feels. So they're saying. Don't question, just listen to your heart. So she said, don't question, just listen to your heart and love will be right here. So that's what this person is doing. They're not questioning it anymore. If there was questions about, you know, you and the karmic, because remember I was feeling like this person was in two minds, you know, that could also be the two reference as well. You know, but this person now realizes they got to answer the call. The call is, you know, going and get what they want. And look at this, too. I was speaking in two and I didn't even see this. The two of cups. So they're coming towards you because they love you. This is the two of cups. We're about to clarify your person's energy. We got law of attraction. They cannot deny how they feel. They cannot deny this connection because this is a, a cosmic um, companion. This is a kindred spirit. This is your love. This is the lovers in traditional tarot. This is somebody that feels that you give to them equally. They speak your love language and you theirs. And this is absolutely somebody that's going to make you happy. There's rainbows. There's waterfalls. Like this love is deep. It runs deep. The love this person has for you runs deep. And I feel like they will communicate to you. Um, maybe during the autumn time. Maybe during your solar return time. You could hear from this person. Or maybe this is just, you know, they've fallen for you. Like I said. So we have... What is this? Justice. Karma. This is this is going to lead to marriage, y'all. This is this is like the divine is working all of this out in you and your person's favor. This is universal karmic law. Like this connection is a spiritual connection. This is a just connection. I feel like this person is going to come in and speak their truth. I feel like you are seen as very guarded. You know what I'm saying? And that could be why this person knows like they have to mind their words when they speak to you because maybe they said some things that was very disrespectful and you cut them off you cut them free you're in this energy that's how they see you you know they see you as someone very guarded very protective you know very very um you're like in a protective bubble we got carl thomas featuring faith evans this is called emotional so this person does get a little emotional when they think about you in this connection they also feel like you could be super emotional as well 
you know, maybe you use your, your tongue like a, you know, your tongue is like a weapon, you know, so be mindful. But let's see, why is the um, stability, self-discipline, treat yourself, you deserve it here for the person Scorpio is attracting. I have a message of love and light. Thank you, spirit. And look at that. We got the five of swords. The five of swords. So this is what this person was doing. We got the five and the five. You cannot make this up. And that's why you cut them off because they could have been saying a lot of things out of the, you know, out of character, like just talking, talking reckless to you. And you turn into the queen of swords and cut their ass off. But this is because they was listening to the wrong people. These were people that were out to get them jealous of their life, jealous, perhaps of maybe the connection you have with this person. You know, but there's a lot of jealousy, a lot of competition. Look at they're running from. They was once a part of that mob. Remember that mob we saw where the guy was looking out? They was once running amongst the mob and then they freed themselves, you know, so they're reflecting back, you know, with emotion. They were maybe they were disconnected from their emotions and they was, you know, um, needing to really, you know, ground themselves. And maybe that's something they're going to communicate with you, you know, that they didn't allow themselves to be vulnerable. They didn't allow themselves to feel. And they listened to a lot of the dun -dun -dun people that didn't have their best interest at heart. And so now they're looking back in awareness. You can see, look at this, the 10, the 10 of swords. Now they're escaping the confusion. They've escaped. This is that same energy. That same swoopy hair over to the side. It's like he's they're escaped. They've escaped something. And maybe, you know, remember we had Judas on the bottom of the deck and jealousy. So they escaped the lies, you know, all of the lies. I had said somebody's uh, tongue was like a, uh, you know, was like a sword. You know, your, your tongue could be a weapon, you know, but it could be also used to to enlighten. But I feel like, you know, this person was just riddled with a lot of um you know, negative and faulty belief systems. Um, maybe they were saying a lot of things that was self-deceptive, you know, the self-deception. Um, maybe they was dealing with a lot of people that was gaslighting them, um, manipulating them and keeping them trapped through lies. And now it's, it's funny that they're escaping through the mouth. So it was like they had to f discover the truth in order to escape. So now they see something clear as day. The Ten of Swords, that's literally like enlightenment, truth. They was lying to themselves. They could have dis d betrayed you to some degree, said some things that was very hurtful, you know. And maybe whoever they could have played you for could have played them. Why is um, Shadow new beginning where have you been all my life here for how this person feels about Scorpio so this person feels that you are and bring the ten of Pentacles this is emotional elate um, elation this is fulfillment this is financial fulfillment this is the family the happy house happy spouse like they feel like they could have you know joy peace happiness a spiritual union a family with you this is something they've been hiding they feel the two of you mirror one another. They want this new beginning. That Ten of Pentacles is like the Ace of Pentacles. So this is what they want to offer. They're very emotional about you. They love you. The Ace of Chalices is here. This person has a lot of love and they watch you religiously. And not only do they watch you, I feel a lot of people watch you. And I feel through them watching you, they may have um, clued someone else in on what their interests are. And that could be why you have a, a single black or single white female that is um that wants your life that's jealous and envious because somebody's being spied on themselves they're they're being spied on by their karmic and the karmic is discovering the feelings this person has for you and we have usher superstar somebody sees you as a superstar as a shining star you radiate love and light you're like a beacon of love a beacon of light and they're getting, they're learning from you. You know, this book is definitely denoting that they've learned some things from you. You know, they're taking a page out of your book, but this is somebody that has love. This is the Ace of Chalices. So this person does love you. And I feel like, you know, they're going to be very intentional. Like I said earlier, they're going to be very intentional and they're returning to you because you feel like home. You make a house a home. You know, they feel you have very, you know, maternal, paternal qualities very nurturing. They could be speaking of you a lot 
thinking of you a lot. That's why you're having those sensations of ringing in the ears, things of that nature. But there's a lot of love here, and they see you as a superstar. So you could be in the spotlight for something. So why is intention and um, wow? So we have the Ten of Swords. So they're, they're, they're escaping this karmic um, relationship. That's why. This is why we got intention and homecoming. So they're returning back to you. Because this is somebody that may have gone in a different direction. The Five of Pentacles, that's confirmation. That's definitely telling me that somebody went in a different direction. And it didn't turn out to what they thought it was. They weren't careful. They were stuck in two minds. Now they're escaping. They're escaping like, you know, by the hairs of their chinny chin chin. And this is somebody that has been learning throughout this process. Their feelings are intensifying for you. And we have here the world. Didn't I mention the world? So this person sees you as the divine feminine. That 21 reduces to three. So you are like that divine feminine, that maternal, um, you know, queen, goddess, empress, energy, the divine feminine. Um, very beautiful, very attractive. Uh, a master manifester, very successful, very abundant. Um, they want to return to you because, like I said, you make a house a home. You know, this is the, a divine feminine here. So it's like you've reached that level of self-mastery and someone wants to return to you. And we got Usher playing superstar. So this person does see you as a superstar. And with the Three of Pentacles, this is them wanting to collaborate, work together. I feel a lot of you all have lost yourselves in your creative projects. Whether you make music, write music, rap, sing, play an instrument, draw art. Um, maybe you're a painter. Maybe you are, um, you know, an anime, a videographer. But it's like you lost yourselves in your creativity. And that's why you are very protective and guarded um, in terms of who you allow in. Because you've created like a safe space, you know, a protective bubble, a safe haven, a sanctuary. And you've lost yourself in your creativity. And that's part of why... Um, you're even more attractive because the, your growth um, and the soul searching and the work that you've been doing has really put you in a different level. Somebody that's been confused and giving you mixed signals and having you ride that emotional roller coaster um, confirmation is really starting to awaken to their feelings. They're trusting the divine downloads that they're receiving because the 61 is still 7. And that's what's making them feel like they need to rush towards you and come towards you. And you're on some, I got my own system. I'm doing me. Um, you're coming off very guarded. We got don't disturb this groove playing by the system. And so this is the security. Don't disturb my peace, my happiness. Remember, you had the card that said um, um, something about uh, because I'm happy um, and you won't steal my joy. That's that's where you are right now. You know, the system, you have a system, you have a system going. So you don't just let everybody in your house. You don't just let everybody in, in your circle, in your cipher anymore. You, you're busy, you're creating, your, your, your home is a sanctuary. It's your safe space. It's your safe haven. So now that you have this groove, this system, it's like somebody that has been very flighty in the past is trying to return. So you have to be mindful of that. So why is security self-love he loves me he loves me not games mixed signals here for what's hidden in the energy for our beloved scorpios thank you spirit so i got two cards here and all these go back thank you spirit bottom of the deck look at the lovers on the bottom of the deck somebody's returning to you somebody had to leave somebody behind see that they realized that was an illusion see all the smoke when the smoke dissipated they remembered it was only you it was always you it was always you this person came in this was the smoke screen. This was the illusionist. This was the player, the trickster, the Judas, the fake, the snake. This is that person that was trying to block this connection, trying to conceal their intentions, trying to keep your person stuck, stagnant, contained. So we have your message, see? And we have the um, knave of swords. This person is spying. Didn't I say with that, that, that chalice, you had the, the, they, they're watching you. And they're watching you because, like I said, you're coming off very guarded. We got don't disturb this groove playing. And so they have no choice but to watch, but to learn, but to strategize. Because they know in the past they played games. So they cut their nose off despite their own face. But this person is really going to come in because they have something they want to say. 
They want to communicate with you. And what they want to communicate is that they love you, that they speak your love language now, that they've learned, that they've been working on self-discipline, self-improvement. They've been healing themselves, you know, soul searching, deep diving. So much so that they've completed that karmic lesson. They've cut that karmic cord and they want to return to you because this is the spiritual union that they've always felt. This is the love that they've always felt. So they're watching and they're coming towards you. They're getting closer to coming in and communicating what they want with that chariot energy. And next we have the four of swords here. So there's somebody who's like recovering, you know, and I see a face, an angry face here. So somebody could really be trying to, you know, keep somebody stuck. But this is the energy of somebody really, you know, repairing, healing from that three swords and they're healing from, you know, the betrayals that they've experienced. Somebody that they thought they knew, you know, was a complete stranger. But this was all a learning lesson. This was all meant for them to heal and grow. I feel like now somebody can take accountability and onus for some of the things they may have done in the past, for some of the ways in which they may have acted. And now through this painful experience, this growing pain, they can now discover, you know, they can now re approach a situation with, you know, with love, with light. So let's get some additional messages and then we're going to wrap it up. We're going to clarify. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck and they already felt the Ten of Pentacles for you. So this is what this person is coming in for. They're not coming into play. They're coming in to make a real offer. This is a long term offer commitment. Your angels and ancestors. This is an angel overseeing this union. That's why I felt strongly that this is a spiritually protected union. And we did see that earlier with all the numerology cards mirroring one another. I saw the 11, 11, 11, 47 on the clock. And then we also saw 47, 47. That's 11, 11 again. So it's no denying that this is a twin flame, a spiritual union, a spiritual connection. Like this is your kindred spirit, your cosmic companion. And I feel your angels and ancestors are conspiring. You may have a feminine energy that's in the spirit realm, a grandmother, a mother, an auntie, a sister, that's in the spirit realm, but they're bringing this trinity, this man, woman, and child together. This is why this person sees you. How they feel about you is parenting. They, they, they feel that you would be the great mother, great father to their child. And they feel sweet on you. We got soul for real. So this is a soul connection, a soul mate. And we have the seven of pentacles. Some of you all have been really like waiting and waiting and waiting having to be very patient in this process because it has not been easy. And, you know, it's never easy when you're dealing with karmic lessons, when you're trying to, you know, pay off karmic debts, you know, look at that, the guardedness. There's a lot of guardedness. This is because somebody was dealing with somebody who was concealing their true feelings, their true intentions. So they was dealing with a karmic, they was dealing with somebody that was really conspiring um, against them. But I feel like somebody really went within, you know, did a lot of soul search and deep diving. And now they can confront their fears or confront this demonic energy. You see how this child is like looking at this demonic and it's like they had to do their inner work. You know, this is kind of like um, healing that inner child, because I do feel like this is, you know, a part of, you know, the, the mirroring and the, you know, that shadow work. Is, is really doing those deep dives, that internal work, soul searching, doing the introspective work. Look at that. This is what this union is leading to. With Candy Rain, this is somebody that's sweet on you. I feel like this is leading to marriage. I was picking up on marriage, and I do see this as a, a divine connection. There's couples here in all of these photos. You see these couples. There's two people, so that's duality. This is marriage, the trinity, man, woman, and child. There's no denying this union is a spiritual one. And that's why patience is always necessary because you got to learn to trust the process and surrender to the divine, surrender the control to the divine. You got a king of wands. So this is a passionate new start, somebody that has a lot of fire and desire. This is somebody that goes after what they want. This is somebody that is, you know, um, they're, they're very, very confident. You know, this is somebody that would be very active, very proactive in getting what they want. But there's a lot of passion here, a lot of desire. Then you've got a king of swords. So you have a lot of people, you know, pursuing you, Scorpios. 
Um, this could be masculine or feminine. Just because it says king doesn't mean it's not a queen. But there's a lot of people pursuing you. And I feel like it's because you're in this divine feminine energy. You are in an energy of of, like I said, maturation. You've matured, you've ascended, you've grown, you've leveled up. And so that makes you attractive. You have a sense of self-love. You've learned valuable lessons. Somebody is really watching from a distance, wanting to communicate, wanting to speak to you. This also speaks to wisdom. Wise don't. This is somebody that has wisened up. We're about to clarify your person and they have autumn love, laws of attraction and justice. So maybe this is their karma. You know, you know, they're wanting good karma. They're wanting something to um, to develop from this. They're not ready to com communicate just yet. They're watching, though. They're having this, you know, this download, this aha, this epiphany, because the sun is just shining so bright here. So it's like they're seeing you in a whole new light, seeing this connection in a whole new light. Why is autumn love? I feel like this person has awakened to the fact that they are in love. They've fallen in love with you. Okay, this card is stuck in my hand. Look at that. I can't make this up. The sun card. Somebody loves you. Oh, this is the wheel. Pardon me. So this is things are turning around in someone's favor. I feel like there's a turning point in this connection. You know, this is justice. Whatever was held up, blocked, delayed, stagnant. It's like it's being moved. Spirit is moving. The source universe is moving. Whatever was blocked. It's like if somebody was put in a stick in someone's wheel, that wheel is going to be moving because this is karma dharma. So somebody has been doing the work. I feel like somebody is very fortunate. They feel fortunate to have you. They feel fortunate to have broken free from something that was keeping them stuck and stagnant. But I feel like with this wheel of fortune, this is a destiny type of love. This is somebody that is absolutely meant to be in your life. Somebody absolutely meant to be that person. See, temperance, divine timing is always of the essence. So it's taking time because good things take time to create. So those those same beautiful ancestors and spirit team that were conspiring behind the scene are working with your person as well. And this person has had to learn some karmic lessons as we see here. So why is the staff self-discipline? Treat yourself and the five of swords here. Two of, look at this, can't make this up. This is the two of cups. This person, love. there's no denying this person loves you. There's no denying. They are looking to come towards you and offer you stability, longevity. This person will be willing to compromise. They have learned this self-discipline is them doing the work, the inner work. You cannot fake doing the work. Once they do the work, they know they're going to treat themselves because now they know their worth. They know they deserve better. This karmic that they're with, this single white female, single black female or male that's watching and stalking their life, that's sick with jealousy, that's a liar, that's deceiving and, and, and you know, um, gaslighting and mind fucking. Now they're guarded. This is the energy of them blocking that energy. They love you. They realize that. They was running from this love, you know what I'm saying? Running from the connection. This is somebody that was listening to the wrong people, all these did -un -dun -uns, lying to them. And then they finally realized that they was amongst their enemies. They weren't amongst friends. They was amongst enemies. This union is all that brings happiness to them. We have Tony, Tony, Tony playing just me and you. So this person now just wants to be you and them. They want this connection to just be with you and them. Just me and you is all they think about. This person is sick up in their head thinking about you. You can see they're riddled with a lot of thoughts. And I say that because there's a bird right here. So I feel like this person is really up in their head a lot. And it's because you're very guarded. You're blocked off from this energy because they was playing a lot of games in the past. But I feel strongly that this person is going to come towards you because they feel that this connection is... A cosmic companion. You're, you're their cosmic companion. The yang to the yin. This is a spiritual union. And there's no denying that fact. Alright. So why is mirror. New beginnings. Where have you been all my life. And the ten of pentacles here. For how this person feels about Scorpio. And we have the two of pentacles. So this person absolutely. Feels like they're not sure. If, if you have a significant other. Um, they definitely know that you're juggling a lot, you're doing a lot, um, but they also feel, you know, like they need to make a decision. This two of pentacles is when you have a lot going on, but I feel like this person really wants to come in 
and they want to offer you the world. You know, this is the Ten of Pentacles. They want to commit to you. But maybe they were a little, you know, a little apprehensive because they weren't sure if you were still in a relationship, if you were juggling another person, if you still were in a partnership. or So they're a little apprehensive. They just want it to be just you and them because we have just me and you. So they just want it to be me and you, like you and them, nobody else in the picture. And that's why this Two of Pentacles is here because they don't know if you're still dealing with a significant other they're not sure where you are they see you what did I say they see you as the Empress we're about to clarify how they feel about you and I literally said that they because we got the 21 and this 21 reduces to 3 and I said that this is how they see you the Empress and here goes the Empress this is the third card in traditional tarot they see you as wise they see you as mature you're very beautiful attractive you and look at the owl I was hearing owls I told you I heard an owl I heard several and I even played the video or the recording for you earlier. And I even I think I heard it just like when I started to tape, when I started to record earlier. But the owl totem, some of you all could be hearing owls outside of your windows. So maybe some of you all are seeing owls. But this is how this person feels about you. Look at all this water underneath her. This love is like it's flowing, man. This person thinks about you all the time. And they're getting out of their head about this connection and they're going to come toward you. It's like they're willing to do whatever. I feel like they were afraid in the past. They're not afraid anymore because we have Aaron Hall and we got don't be afraid. So they could have been afraid of you because look how beautiful and poised this divine feminine is. She knows what she deserves and what she desires. And she's not going to take anything less. And maybe that's why this person had to learn to master themselves, learn to love themselves, learn to build up that confidence and get out of that ego. Because you could see through that, you know, you could see through that. You could see straight through that. And, the, and not to mention, you're very psychic. So let's see, why is homecoming? So this person wants to return. They're not going to be afraid. They're setting the intentions. They're manifesting you. Why is ringing in the ears, homecoming intention here? See that? The death. I mean, the um, devil. They was trapped. They was stuck. They was trapped in an illusion. And we could see that with the world, the devil. This is how they feel. They feel the strong attraction and, and sexual desire for you. And this is somebody who also has some sort of attachments, addictions, afflictions. There's somebody else in the picture pulling strings, puppeteering some shit. Pardon my language. Because it says here, left ear if your left ear, it says message from your higher self shift in your vibrational field. And so that's your spidey senses letting you know. And look at, you know, I was saying spidey senses and there's a web. So there could be a web of lies, you know, that somebody is entangled in. And this is why this person is trying to free themselves. So the masculine is freeing themselves, obviously, from a karmic relationship. And this person is sending you a lot of telepathic messages. That's why you may be getting ringing in the ears or other sensations because they're trying to return home to you. Um, they were afraid at first, but I feel like through your intentions, through your manifestation rituals, like you're amplifying this person, there's this person's power and ability to break free. I feel like you've reached a level of self mastery. So you're able to read the room. You're able to pick up on the energy. And I feel like you're, you're, you're assisting your person, whether you know it or not. And this almost looks like the same face here. So it's like this person is, is almost like you're helping them. It's like you're triggering and activating them because you see how there's a face here. Where's that face with the mouth? This is the face with the mouth. And then this is the person coming out of the face with the mouth mouth. So it's like you're you're helping them. So they're, they're being more fearless, you know, because we have don't be afraid. And they're breaking free. I feel like they're breaking free from some sort of devil. You know, the devil definitely denotes, you know, represents this this Judas energy. So they're breaking free from something. Jealousy and deception, and deceit and lies and all of that. This this is toxic energy, envy, jealousy. Look at this. We got the nine of cups. Somebody sees you as wish fulfillment. And they're coming toward you because they feel that you're wish fulfillment. They've been watching, you know, even though you're guarded, you know, even though you may have felt like this person, you know, was giving you a lot of mixed signals or playing a lot of games. They're coming in. They're coming toward you because they see you as a star. They see you as wish fulfillment. They're attracted to you. So why is um, security? 
self-love, he loves me, and the page of swords here for what's hidden in the energy. May I have a message of love and light, divine spirit. Thank you. Look at that. So you have the, um, what is that? Oh, that's the, um, the Knight of Cups. So somebody's coming in to offer this cup of love. And you also have the fool. Somebody wants to reconcile, wants another chance, another opportunity. This is somebody that's been watching, observing from a distance, but they're also getting a whole new perspective. They've had some sort of evolved perspective. See all these eyeballs? It's like these eyeballs are everywhere, so it's giving them an opportunity to look at things from a different vantage point. And so they're seeing where they may have been foolish in the past, trying to play these games. Maybe their fear, because we got don't be afraid. Maybe their fear hindered or blocked them. See this? This was the fork in the road. There was a decision, you know, the three of wands, you know, trying to make a decision, trying to choose, waiting for something to change. But I feel like ultimately whatever this, you know, that's been manifesting, because the three of wands is like to me that ready, set, go. So it's a lot of planning and preparing, strategizing that takes place before someone takes action. So I feel like somebody sat down really looked at things from some other perspective and now they could take action. They're going to come towards you, rush towards you. And so we see the six of swords. So this is really, again, this is the same energy we began or started with where, you know, whoever was hiding themselves, you're blo you've blocked them. See how the sword is here. So it's like you're blocking them. You're not even looking at them. You're looking past them. But I feel there's more now. Somebody's really wanting to work um, towards coming towards you. You know, because you've really, you know, I feel like you have blocked out anyone, anything that does not serve your highest good, anything you had to guess about, you were not dealing with it. You got the five of wands. So this five of wands is here now. And this is for, um, you know, for me, the five of wands is like conflict, you know, people fighting, arguing, you know, confusion. Um, and this is what's been going on in within this person's world is there's a lot of competition, a lot of conflict. Um, and I feel like somebody is just really healing and recovering from that and realizing that they have to, you know, they have to stand in their power. They have to assert themselves. And because they're doing more asserting and they're not just buckling down and just bending and folding, there's like literally a lot of, um, a lot of um, negative, uh, you know, negative thoughts that somebody has towards this person is trying to free themselves because they're trying to prey on their downfall. Right now we have, um, who is this? Teddy Pendergrass. And it says, you're my latest, my greatest inspiration. So Scorpios, you're this person's inspiration. I feel like they, like I said, they're triggered and activated and now inspired because they've watched you heal yourselves. And we have the four of um, swords here. So this is the person now they're, they're getting it, taking a page out of your book almost. And they're going to, you know, keep moving upward and onward. So whoever's trying to distract them to come back and deal with them, it's like they're, they're still moving. They're looking at them, but they're, they're going to go up. They're going to keep going up. Let me get one more message for um, the cloak concealment, karmic completion, praying on your downfall, the four of swords and the five for the outcome. So we have a tower moment. So this is a deep cleansing. You can see the waters are washing. So this is a necessary healing, release, purging. You got the Knight of um, Swords here. So this um, unexpected communication. And it's coming from somebody who has grown because you had the Knight of Swords. Now you have the King of Swords. So this person has been inspired to, to use their throat chakra to emote. See that? The Four of Wands. So they see this connection as something very strong. They could build with you. They could grow with you. They can, you know, nurture and cultivate a family and, you know, build that nucleus. Um, the King of Pentacles. Didn't I mention the King of Pentacles? This is somebody that will be like that support system. You've got a lot of options here. You've got the King of Wands. You've got the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords. Uh, we did see the King of Cups. So all of the kings showed up um, with this Nine of Swords. I feel like there's going to be some incoming communication right now. Somebody's up in their head, but there is absolutely somebody that could see building a house, building the family. The four of wands is the 1111. We saw that several times. So your twin flame is working through cleaning up a karmic lesson, a karmic past to come towards you. 
um, and they're healing. They're having to heal before they come towards you so as not to bring baggage. Same work you had to do, your person is now going through it. And I feel like you amplified and inspired them because we have, you're my latest, my greatest inspiration. Um, it was just 10, 10 on the clock. It just changed when I saw it. You know, right now it's 10, 11, you can see. But um, when I said that, it was 10, 10. So they're definitely wrapping up a cycle, um, clearing out a cycle. But this person is meant to be with you. And they are coming in uh, to be your rock. You know, they're, they're really willing to court you, to cater to you, to take care of you, to provide for you, to be that support system. And um, I feel like you're going to be elated. You know, there's going to be a lot of happiness and joy. Right now, they could be up in their head as to how to do it. Um, but I do feel like they're going to um, they're going to come towards you because they do see you as wish fulfillment. You know, they they're a little stuck. This is what's hidden in the energy is they're stuck wrapping up this cycle, cutting this karmic cord and, and, and freeing themselves from something that is that has had them, you know, in an illusion. They was listening to people's words and believing it. And, and now it's like they see the truth that Ten of Swords is illumination. It's clarity. Um, they're now seeing, you know, what illusion they were a part of. And I feel like it's all because of the intentions you've been setting, the prayers, petitions, because you are that alchemist, that grand, you know, that magi, that sorcerer, um, that high priestess. And I feel your person is as well, that you all have been able to sever some sort of tie. But um, don't be surprised if this person pens you a letter. Um, maybe somebody found a letter that this person was penning and that's how the secret was exposed because I was picking up on somebody like discovering something and that's why now their direction or their attention is now directed towards you and sending hatred your way. Um, maybe they're a little jealous, but it's because, you know, they've discovered that somebody has these hidden feelings for another person. Um, but this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated. Uh, if you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace.